Yo what's up guys it's Atrix here today we'll be testing out all the FIFA Switch games on our Android device including FC24, FIFA 23 and every other game which you see on your screen. We'll be using the Yuzu Nintendo Switch emulator for Android to test out these games and the device which I'll be using for today's video is my IQ12 with Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor as well as 16GB of RAM. So what are we waiting for let's start with the minimum requirements. If you also want to emulate these FIFA games on Android you need at least 8GB of RAM, Snapdragon 695 processor or above and that's going to be it. I would also like to show you guys the best settings to emulate these FIFA games on Yuzu Android. First of all, to start off we'll be using an custom GPU driver which is Mesa Turnip Adreno Driver Revision 16. We won't be using the Revision 17 because it has some graphical issue bugs and it is not completely stable. I have also gotten many comments from you guys telling me that you get black screen. Anyways, as for the debug setting we'll be using CPU backend as native code execution for better performance as well as graphics. In terms of system settings, limit speed percentage has been enabled and the percent is set to 400. We'll be disabling dock mode to get better performance and here are the main graphics settings. Accuracy level, keep it at normal if you have, uh, if you don't face any graphical issues. But if you face any graphical issues, then I recommend you guys to keep the accuracy level to high. In my experience, while emulating FIFA games, you will face some graphical issues. So it is better to keep the accuracy level at high. And in terms of resolution, make sure to keep it as low as possible. I'll be using 0.75x resolution and FSR sharpness at 48%. I have also enabled the other settings as follows and those are going to be the best settings to emulate FIFA games on Yuzu Emulator Android. So what are we waiting for? Let's start with FIFA 18. There we go, EA Sports and yeah, I'll be testing out each and every single game, we'll be uh, taking a look at the performance that we get and also graphical issues if any. We'll also be checking out the stability because many people tell me FIFA games actually crash quite a lot while emulating even on the latest builds of Yuzu emulator. But as you can see it is completely real FIFA games which we will be emulating in today's video. I don't like to showcase any fake or clone games so yeah, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications if you want to show some support. Any Anyways, the first match is about to begin Real Madrid versus FC Barcelona. Now FIFA 2018 I guess is one of the best FIFA games ever released and especially when it was released for Nintendo Switch it was a huge hit because many people wanted to play this game uh, and thankfully because it was released on Nintendo Switch we can also emulate it on our Android devices. Now the FPS which we'll get throughout this gameplay is around 60 which is super smooth like just take a look at all the cinematics it will be running very smoothly. at, at at least 45 to 60 fps now during the cinematics uh, the fps goes down by a little bit but it is to be expected uh, as we are emulating very heavy titles like all these games are huge in size and yeah it, this video really took a lot of time and planning and preparations for me to be able to film it as i want to provide the best content for you guys anyways let's close fifa 18 and try out our next game which is going to be fifa 19 i'll be testing out all these games serially from uh, fifa 18 to fc 24 and I'm surprised because these games are booting very easily. It was unexpected. I thought there might be some crashing issues here and there. But there we go. I have started the second match where we'll be playing as FC Barcelona. Now I won't be covering entire gameplays or entire match sessions. The video will be almost 30 to 40 minutes long. I want to keep it as short and simple as possible. By the way, do let me know in the comment section down below. Have you guys tried out emulating FIFA games on Yuzu Android? And if so, did you face any issues? Because uh, from the way the things are going i am not even seeing a single graphical issue and the fps is pretty stable straight up 60 fps smooth well i think i spoke too soon because there we go my game has frozen now and it is not playable let me try tapping on exit emulation and hoping that the shutting down process doesn't take that long it's a bit interesting, I think the Yuzu emulator has been officially broken so we'll need to restart it. Alright then, it is confirmed that some FIFA games do freeze while emulating it so it's better to use an save file or uh, make sure to keep your data safe because it might be very annoying if you are playing and match in career mode and suddenly <laughs> the emulator freezes and you will have to uh, replay that entire match so yeah, take care of that. Anyways, next up we'll be trying out FIFA 20 and as you'll be able to see in the crowd uh, area, uh, 
it is completely dark pitch black because of an graphical issue so this is a major graphical issue as we are emulating game with graphics accuracy level set to normal not set to high you will be facing some graphical issues but as we want the best amount of performance possible you'll need to sacrifice some amount of graphics quality and i would say that it's a pretty minor issue as it doesn't really affect the players as well as ground so it is uh, properly visible and properly playable now i am interested to see how well will these games work on again a simulator because i am pretty sure that in again you shouldn't really face any major graphical issue or even minor ones anyways let's try out fifa 21 on yuzu emulator android and at the top right corner you'll be able to see that my device thermals are saying that uh, my device is getting super hot so that's one thing you'll need to note if you're emulating games for longer period of time i recommend you guys to connect and controller like i am doing right here i have connected my ps5 controller to my iq12 so we can easily play our games without needing to hold it in your hand because as the device gets hot if you hold it in your hand even more heat will be generated and it is also recommended that you emulate games in a properly ventilated room with uh, at least fan or an ac because these emulators will consume lot of your cpu resources and if you play for longer periods of time then it can also harm your battery life so precautions are needed and i only recommend you guys to use emulators if you have an old android device and you don't really care about its battery life even though i am using it on my iq12 for longer periods of time just so i can make videos for you guys that's all i care about i don't really care about my device battery health but interesting fact about emulating this specific game is that i'm not really seeing any kind of graphical issues unlike our previous game which is really a good thing and as i was saying you need to use an controller for at least playing fifa games because it is very hard to use touch controls and control your players properly uh, because if you are pressing the zl button or l button then uh, some for some reason user emulator thinks that you are swiping from the left side of your screen and it will open the settings bar and if you use the latest yuzu emulator android build number 254 from the github page uh, then you will also get specific control remapping option which is a brand new option added in settings so you can map your controller according to uh, the on-screen touch controls or any controls you prefer so that is a great feature added in the recent version of yuzu emulator now uh, the game freezing issue i only faced it i think once while filming this video and i think it's now time to move on towards our next game which is going to be FIFA 2022. Now while playing all of these games uh, chronically from FIFA 18 to FIFA 23 I have realized one thing that not much has changed in all these FIFA games like it's just normal FIFA games the graphic hasn't improved with every generation of games which is a bit disappointing because you expect at least like high graphics or even more graphics quality we have gotten games like Witcher 3 for Nintendo Switch so why not get the original FIFA 23 PC version style graphics in Nintendo Switch I think it should be possible but it will just take a lot of optimization and I don't think that EA team <laughs> are willing to do that for Nintendo Switch. Again in FIFA 22 as well you will face an graphical issue as you see in the crowd area so that is something you'll need to expect. Anyways let's move on towards FIFA 23 because this is one of the best FIFA games that you can play on your Android devices mainly because of the amazing players like Mbappe, Lionel Messi, Ronaldo and yeah updated teams. So yeah it's pretty fun to play as you can see the game started instantaneously now let me talk about low-end device support because I know many of you guys have low-end Android devices and want to emulate these FIFA games. Well for you guys I would say that Snapdragon processor is a must if you have MediaTek or Exynos processor even FIFA 18 won't work on your Android device. And by the way I'll be uh, enabling dock mode as well as uh, changing the graphics accuracy level to high so that we get very less graphical issues. You'll need to apply the settings but uh, as you saw our FPS went down up by a little bit. It's not major but obviously if you don't have an high end android device like me then your FPS will be affected greatly. So that's one thing you'll need to note if you mess around with settings, if you want better graphics quality, your performance will be affected. Now let's get back to the topic of low end device support. As I mentioned before Snapdragon 890 process, 895 processor or above uh, are the minimum requirements. If you meet them then you should be good to go but if you don't meet them then have no uh, expectations. Even on Snapdragon 695 you will only get like 5 to 10 FPS maximum that too if the game actually boots so don't expect much. Anyways let's go back and try out the latest FIFA games from EA Sports which is FC24. I want to see if it works on Yuzu emulator Android so I have opened it on my Android device. 
it is saying loading and unfortunately it crashed so i'll try reopening it because fc24 is a latest fifa uh, title a new generation i guess that's why all the other fifa games work but fc24 doesn't work on yuzu emulator android uh, though i am expecting it to work in the upcoming yuzu android update so don't forget to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i keep you guys up to date with all the latest yuzu emulator android updates and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye